Hello, it's me again and uh, a few more days before we might be able to eat out and until then I guess we will continue cooking. So the dish that we're making today is tomato egg ramen. So the guy in the video used gin ramen, but for me, I'll be using shin. Um, but I mean, from my research online, I read that gin is a bit spicier than shin. Uh, but honestly, you can use whichever Korean ramen you prefer. So first step, we are going to remove the pit. The pit is here. So we just use the tip of our knife to stab it. Chop it into small pieces. So we cut it into half. Four. Instead of putting your fingers like this, where you may hurt yourself, you want to use your knuckle, sort of guide the knife. Use the knuckle, chop, chop. Okay, now we have our tomatoes. To easily remove the skin, you can just use your knife, put it down, use a knife, and you just, so you can just peel. After that, it comes off uh, very easily. One, two, three. So that is one clove. Okay, so first step, we have to make uh, essentially scrambled eggs. So just mix it around. So put in the tomatoes. Bruh. So we just want the, to cook the tomato down. So add some sugar. Just a little bit. And then add the minced garlic. So once it's starting to boil, we can add in um, the ramen flakes. Half of the ramen seasoning packet. Add in the noodle. So the bottom is starting to cook, so you can like wiggle it, wiggle it. Add in the egg. Oh yeah, why well, become one chunk? Okay, so this is um, tomato egg with shin ramen. Um, it is dry or semi-wet. Semi-dry wet. It's not soupy lah, it's not soupy ramen. Okay, one by five words. Uh, tomato egg with shin ramen. Mmm. Ketchup mi pok. Korean style. Kuka mi pok style. It really tastes like uh, mi pok with ketchup. Uh, but with the added spice element <coughs> from the ramen seasoning packet. Wow, I would pay somebody for this. So it doesn't taste too much like shin ramen or dry shin ramen. But it also doesn't taste too much like tomato egg. So it's like the best of both worlds. So yeah, uh, I would highly recommend you to try this recipe. It was so nice that I made the dish a few days later, but this time I put the garlic in before the tomatoes with the oil, and I thought that it made the dish a bit more fragrant, but I think either way is fine. That's it for this episode of one bite, five words. Let me know if, you have, if there are any other dishes that you would like me to cook from home.